Hi everyone, Rob here from the Mishimoto Engineering Facility. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook for more exclusive content. Today we're going to install our performance air intake on your 2013 Focus ST. This install is a quick one, so let's get started. Tools required for installation include 2.5 and 4 millimeter Allen keys, 7, 8, and 12 millimeter sockets, quarter inch drive extensions, quarter inch drive ratchet, and a flathead screwdriver. Installation time is under an hour. Installation difficulty is a three out of five. Locate the long bracket in your kit and secure it to the Mishimoto airbox with the supplied Allen bolts. Locate the short bracket in your kit and secure it to the Mishimoto airbox with the supplied Allen bolts. Locate the mounting pegs in your kit. Secure the first mounting peg to the long bracket with the provided 4mm Allen bolt and washer, but do not fully tighten it. Locate the slotted hole in the bottom of the airbox. Secure the second mounting peg to this hole using the provided 4mm Allen bolt and washer, but do not fully tighten it yet. Remove the engine cover. Feel underneath the cover to locate the attachment points and pull up on the cover. There are four pegs and grommets that secure the cover. Loosen the four 8mm screws that secure the lid to the stock airbox and remove the lid. These screws are captured in the lid so they do not need to be removed completely. Remove the stock air filter. Disconnect the electrical harness from the manifold absolute pressure and temperature sensor. To separate the connector, depress the lock tab and slide the connector off the sensor. Remove the 8mm screw that secures the MAP-T sensor to the stock airbox and remove the MAP-T sensor by lifting it directly upwards. The MAP-T sensor is sealed with an O-ring. Sometimes this O-ring may get stuck in the housing, so take your time working it loose. Loosen the worm gear clamp that secures the induction hose to the airbox, and then separate the induction hose from the airbox. Loosen the worm gear clamp that secures the induction hose to the front section of the intake pipe. Disconnect the vacuum line from the vacuum pump outlet. To release the hose, depress the black tab and pull the hose off the port. Now remove the induction hose from the vehicle. Disconnect the two rubber straps that secure the fresh air duct to the radiator support. Then remove the airbox from the vehicle by pulling it directly upward. Remove the bolt that secures the front section of the intake pipe to the valve cover. Loosen the clamp that joins the two sections of the intake pipe together. Then remove the front section of the intake pipe. Disconnect the vent hose from the intake pipe. To release the vent hose, squeeze the knurled tabs and pull the hose off the port. Remove the bolt and stud that secure the intake pipe to the valve cover. Loosen the worm gear clamp that secures the intake pipe to the turbocharger inlet. Then remove the intake pipe from the vehicle by lifting it up off the turbo. Disconnect the vent hose from the valve cover. To release the hose, squeeze the knurled tabs and pull the hose off the port. Our vehicle had a prototype part installed, but your vehicle will likely have the stock hose. Locate the tapered PCV hose in your kit and slip a worm gear clamp over the wider end. Install this end over the port on the valve cover and tighten the clamp to secure it. Locate the transition coupler in your kit. Slip a worm gear clamp over the narrow end of the coupler and install the coupler over the turbocharger inlet. Slip another worm gear clamp over the wider end. Make sure both clamps are oriented so they will be accessible when installed on the vehicle. Then tighten the clamp that secures the coupler to the turbo inlet. Leave the other clamp loose for now. Lay the Mishimoto intake pipe on top of the valve cover. Slip the worm gear clamp over the narrow end of the PCV hose and install the hose over the port on the intake pipe. Then secure it with the worm gear clamp. Slip the Mishimoto intake pipe into the coupler at the turbo. Turn the pipe until the bracket lines up with a threaded hole on the vacuum pump. Secure the pipe with the bolt you removed earlier and then tighten the clamp that secures the intake pipe to the turbocharger coupler. Remove the two air inlet ducts from the stock airbox. Then remove the rubber mounting peg from the stock airbox. Install the rubber mounting peg you just removed to the forked bracket on the Mishimoto airbox. Lower the Mishimoto airbox into place. There are three grommets on the vehicle that must engage the mounting pegs on the airbox. Slip the stock air inlet ducts into the Mishimoto airbox and secure them with the rubber straps. Then tighten the two 4mm Allen bolts that secure the mounting pegs to the airbox. Locate the 90 degree intake elbow and sensor adapter in your kit. Install the sensor to the adapter and then secure the sensor and adapter to the intake elbow with the supplied 10mm bolt. Slip the two worm gear clamps over the straight coupler and install the coupler to the Mishimoto intake pipe. 
slide the coupler all the way up the intake pipe to give yourself some extra room. Lower the Mishimoto air filter into the air box. Slip the intake elbow into the air box and install the air filter to the intake elbow. Then slide the straight coupler down the intake pipe and connect it to the intake elbow. Secure the coupler to the intake pipe and elbow with the worm gear clamps you installed earlier. Connect the vacuum line to the vacuum pump. Simply push the connector onto the port until it clicks. Connect the electrical harness to the MAP-T sensor. Secure the air filter to the intake pipe with the integrated worm gear clamp. Install the Mishimoto airbox lid and secure it with the five 4mm Allen bolts. Install the engine cover mounting stud to the valve cover. Install the engine cover by pushing it down over the studs. Now that you have the intake installed on your Focus, take a moment to check your work. Make sure all the clamps are tight and everything is properly connected. Then fire up your Focus for a test drive. Don't forget to click subscribe before you head out.